Dynamic Character Animation in Daz Studio by Dartan Beck through the magic of Digital Art Live and Daz 3D. This video course follows Dartan Beck through an entire animation project from an unposed character through simulating the clothing and hair in D-Force, then rendering an eye ray and even a basic composite of the final result over the back plate. This system utilizes custom tools that we build into our figures and is very easy to use, making our animations turn out exactly how we envision them to be. But much more, we can alter the action of the animation entirely while still retaining the valuable motion capture data. Even better, and unlike using the graph editor, using this system is entirely non-destructive to the original motion capture so we can revert back to its original state at any time. These are the results of the first part of the course, and it's only one of the many possibilities. We could change the lighting, the backdrop, the camera angle, and use this same animation for other purposes. The second part of the course dives deep into building this system into our own base figures. Build it into the base figure, and it will work on any character using that base, even files that you may have saved previously. To better grasp all of this, we'll begin with an extensive look at the design I've used for Rosie 7, and compare the difference between her and another figure that doesn't have the system. In the next separate video, we dive right in and show you how to build your own system according to your own needs. This procedure is very simple and quick to employ, and the end result is powerful, making animating in Daz Studio an absolute pleasure to animate in. In this second half of the course, Dartan Beck covers how he creates partial Annie blocks like the ones shown in Part 1, demonstrates the power we have in making our own custom wearables, and shows how to make them takes us on a tour through Rosie Seven's base scene and explains the importance of having an animator's base scene, and demonstrates two methods for converting animations from other generations of Daz figures. The bonus content includes two behind-the-scenes looks at Rosie Seven's cyberpunk-style demonstration video. Animating the backplate that matches the moving cameras of the character render. A complete look behind the making of the car chase scene, with more than 100 animated people going about their business in a huge city scene made using Stonemason's Urban Sprawl 3 that has been cyberpunked using Polish's Cyberpunk Back Alley Bundle with the car chase being driven using Linde's amazing four-wheeler animation template system. And it all fits within my six gigabyte graphics card. You'll also get an enhanced version of the actual video in 1080 HD. After taking this course, you'll see why I'm having such a great time animating in Daz Studio. And I hope you'll agree that you will too. Dynamic Character Animation in Daz Studio by Dar Tanbeck through the magic of Digital Art Live and Daz 3D. Hey there, I'm Dar Tanbeck, and I'll see you there.